Hello everyone. Happy Saturday or happy Sunday or whatever day you happen to watch this video. Um, Right now it is late Saturday evening or Saturday night actually. And I am here with little Miss Layla because she's up. She wanted to eat. She needs to get changed. So here we are doing a late night video again um tonight it's even later than when i did the video the previous video with mika it was late then too but it's even later right now guys but this little girl was up she doesn't want to sleep so here we are we thought we'd pop in and do a video and say hello hello to everyone right little layla and i had her bottle propped up so she could kind of drink while I was getting everything set up for the video. Sometimes she'll drink like this. Sometimes she won't. Sometimes she wants mommy to hold her. So then she'll cry if I don't pick her up and feed her. But she's doing okay right now. She's enjoying her milk. So what I wanted to do was just quickly share a few more of the things that I have been just like buying, buying, buying different little hauls I've been doing. So as I said, I would share, you know, something each time I do a video, I'll share something else that I purchased. Um, I've been buying stuff from Walmart, Carter's, um, Old Navy, then offline from different websites, also different stores online. So it's just like, I have so many different things. So I'll just like show some of it here and some of it there in different videos. So, and also I wanted to change her into one of these outfits. So I figured I'd share some of the stuff and then change her into one of the pajamas. So that's what we're gonna do. So this haul is a Carter's haul, I believe. It could be Carter's and what's the other one that I've been buying? Gerba. Um, from These are from Walmart. Child of Mine is like a mixture I have here. So basically when I buy at Walmart, I usually get Child of Mine, Gerba, Carter's. Um, mostly they have Carter's Child of Mine and then that new brand modern moments um and wonder nation those are the ones i usually look for at walmart and lately they've been getting like all different kind of little things in and i've been loving them so i like i keep checking in at my walmart to see if they have anything new because they get new stuff in. I don't even know what days they get stuff in. I have two different Walmarts I go to. I'm like, I live in between both of them. And they even near me, they, the both of the Walmarts have different stuff. So you really have to check from one Walmart to the other because they have different stuff. So the first thing is this little outfit here. I was going to put her in this because it has like these peach coral colored flowers on this. And this is child of mine, um, newborn. But these run kind of roomy. So I'm thinking Layla could fit this newborn. I love these, as I said, when they have the hats, the booties, and the outfit. You get the whole little ensemble. And the little hat has a little bow. And I thought this print was just really pretty on this. So she's going to wear that. And that's the newborn one. And then I also, because I loved it so much with the flowers, I got two. As I said, a lot of times I'll get two of things if I like it. So I have like a newborn one and a zero to three months. Um, the zero to three months I really got for Amani. But I don't know if Jone could fit it. It looks so long. I bet Jone could fill this out, but it'll be long for her. But I might try it on Jone just to see could she fit that. But I got two of those. Then I'm on this onesies kick. So I got these Gerba Organic Baby Soft, and they are very soft onesies. I love this floral print as well on this one. Um, this set 
And what size did I get? These are zero to three months. And it says pretty princess. Again, it has that rose gold color, little sparkly writing. I have some other things with that rose gold on it. That's like the new thing. It's not just gold. It's kind of pinky gold, like a rose gold. And this onesie is more like a coral peachy color. It's not pink. Then it has the gray one with the same colored polka dots on that one. And I prefer to get zero to three months onesies. Even if my babies are newborn size, sometimes I try to put them on the zero to three months because then all the babies kind of can fit zero to three months, even if it's a little big on some of them. Then I got this one, this set. I love the rainbow right now. So anything I see with the rainbow, I'm trying to grab it. Um, this set goes with that other outfit I have um, with the rainbows on it. This is the coordinating onesies that goes with that. And I had put it on the babies like maybe two weeks ago with the rainbows. It has the little top and the pants with the rainbows. Then it has these have this little onesie. And it says Mommy's Little Love with the heart. And it has the rainbow on the hearts. This is also zero to three months, child of mine. Then this one is gray with sheep with kind of that peachy, pinky, coral color on the sheep. So we have that set. And what I've been doing is kind of just separating what I buy. So then when I change the boys, I'll show some of the things I got for them because their stuff is separate. And then this is another set of this one. Um, I picked up, again, two different sets of the same. Um, yeah, because this one is the newborn, and then this one is the zero to three. So I have two sets of that. I didn't even realize I picked up two sets of that, I'm telling you. <laughs> but I did. I must have liked it. And then I have this set here. This is Gerber. And again, it has the rainbow. So I had to grab this. And this was the last set like this one. These are organic also, newborn size Gerber. And they didn't even have any more of these. So I only could get this one set in newborn. I don't think I have this one in the zero to three because they didn't have it. And it says little princess big dreams on this one. And that's pink and then the rainbow one and then the green with the polka dots. So yeah, I'm into onesies definitely and definitely is getting into the onesie weather because it's quite warm already and it's only April in Georgia. And then we have this cute little bunny um, sleeper. It's green or teal with pink and it has flowers and this pretty pink bunny on here. This is a newborn size sleeper. And I actually bought this for someone to wear for Easter, but I didn't put it on them. But I, I love bunnies, so I feel like anytime you could, you know, use a bunny sleeper. It doesn't have to be Easter. Okay, so that's some of the stuff there. Just a little bit of it. Can I have that bottle, little girl? I love this baby's lips. Oh, my gosh. Her lips... <laughs> It's just like so realistic, her lips, oh my gosh. Especially when you put that lubricant on the bottle or the nipple and it gets on her lip or any other baby's lip and it has that wet look to it, it make it look like they're drooling and it just looks so, just so realistic. And if you're new to my channel, I don't know, can I get her up to the screen holding her like this? But... Do you guys see her lip when I pull it down? It just looks so real in person. But she is my Layla. I call her Layla. Denaya is her middle name. But she is the Dwayne Awake. Um, She's from the Dwayne Awake Edition dolls. And the girls are Denaya. The boys were Dwayne or are Dwayne. And... She is a fully completed Clea Taylor doll. Everything all done by Clea Taylor from start to finish. This baby was not sold as a blank kit. She's a completed doll. 
meaning Clea Taylor does everything to the completed dolls. They're never sold as blanks. So with these addition dolls, Clea Taylor molds them, sculpts them, pours them into silicone, paints them, and roots their hair. And when she sells them, they're all completely done. So we're going to put her in this newborn Huggies. And this video is already 10 minutes long. So this little one is also a drinking wet baby. I was going to do a drinking wet feeding with her, but then I changed my mind at the last minute because it's kind of late. But definitely I will eventually come on and do a drinking wet feeding with her. I haven't done one in a little while. And she has um, a spine that you can feel. She has the squishy tummy feature. If you can tell from me squeezing her, she has a squishy tummy. Amazing silicone. Um, she just kind of wrinkles like skin. And this baby is textured. She has a textured finish to her. She's not just smooth, her silicone. It actually has a textured finish. And I do like the textured finish because she doesn't get shiny at all. I've had Layla for two over two years, and July will be three years. I can't believe it. I got her in 2018. Um... Yeah, three years in July coming up, and she is in the same condition as when I got her. None of her paint has come off. Nothing is shiny. She is in the same condition. I can't, and I, you guys know that have been watching my channel from also my previous old channel. And you know how much I, you know, have handled Layla, did videos with Layla. She has definitely been loved. Um, and this is a baby that I also hold off camera, on camera. Um, she is definitely my baby. So with all that being said, she is still in amazing condition. I, I don't have like any complaints with her as far as paint, matte, no shine spots, no paint coming off, nothing. The only thing that wore out on Layla is her armature. She has full armatures, but they no longer work. That is the only thing. Other than that, she is in mint condition just as when I got her. Um, and I'm so happy because I love her so much. So I don't want nothing to happen to her. So I'm so happy to say she is in the same condition so i would say when people think that the silicone dolls you know they're so fragile if you get the right silicone doll and it's done properly painted properly matted properly everything is cured properly with the paint and the mat the dolls really do hold up i mean you would have to be doing something really strenuous to the doll and just reckless, I think, a lot of times for them to mess up. Because they really do last a long time. Um, especially, I'm speaking for Claire Taylor's dolls, let me say that. Because most of my collection is her dolls. I'm trying to get all of these little um, plastic thingies off of this stuff. That's the only thing I hate. And I meant I should have took them off before actually I started the video because this is full of the little plastic things. Everything got something stuck on it. But yeah, this baby is like doing really well, going on three years old soon. Um, I also have my Andrew by Clea Taylor, which is my Gabriel, another favorite baby of mine that I've had even longer than Layla. And he was created back in 2015, and he's still doing really well. Um, so these babies do hold up if you take proper care. And her little spine here, if you guys can see it, you actually can feel her spine in there. And what else she has? The drinking wet, the spine, the squishy tummy. 
she she pretty much has all the bells and whistles along with this amazing silicone as i said and i just love her layla is a portrait baby she was created or the Dwayne edition was created from a real baby so she looks to me like she does look just like the baby she was created from the real baby she she is the one in the edition the awake babies that really looks like the real you know baby Dwayne some of the others look different a little different from Layla but Layla looks like she really looks like you know the portrait of the real baby Dwayne and also not the portrait the um the baby the prototype Dwayne baby she actually really looks like him her eyes and everything is just like his the other baby's eyes to me look slightly different from Layla's and then there's only two awake Dwayne girls Layla being one of them so She's quite actually rare. There's only five awake Dwayne's besides the, I don't know if you would call him a prototype or is he an artist proof? The one that actually went to the family of the real baby Dwayne. He might have been more so an artist proof. I would have to go look that up because I always mix that up. I don't think he's called a prototype. He might have been an artist proof. So this fits her good. The, um newborn because some stuff she can fit newborn then some stuff she needs a one month size the newborn is too small and then the three month is usually too big for her and let's is a onesie like she could fit three month size onesies and rompers she could fit three months but like actual sleepers and outfits she needs like a, a newborn to a one month size usually the one month size is her perfect fit this particular baby and then you also have five Dwayne asleeps and they look different to me from the awake babies they the sleep Dwayne's look totally different and there's one peaky eyed girl um, from made from the Dwayne asleep babies and she looks different from the Dwayne awake girls so Layla is kind of what you would say is you know a rare baby also and then we'll put on your little hat although i don't like to cover her hair but we'll put on her little hat since she has a little hat with her little head and also i bought this ky lubricant a new one because i wanted one in the bottle but guess what i bought the wrong one <laughs> It's liquid KY. I thought it was jelly. I don't know if all of them in the bottle is liquid. Is that why they're in the bottle? I thought it was going to still be like this one, the gel that's in the tube, but it's liquid. But what I found out is that actually I like it because it doesn't clunk up in the baby's mouth as much because it's thinner. It's liquidy, if you can see that in the bottle. So it's not quite as clunky like the um gels because with the gel a lot of people ask me how do you get this out of their mouth because when you use the gel try to use a little bit of it because it does kind of clunk up in their mouth and what you want to do to clean out their mouth when it gets too much clunked up in there just take a q-tip wet it with a little water and then just go around in their mouth and swab out their mouth with the Q-tip. And that's how I usually clean the KY out of their mouth. But I do like this one because it looks like it'll be less cleaning because it's liquidy. You don't even need a lot of it. You just drip a little drop of it on the nipple and you're good to go because it's, it's liquidy. Okay, so I have my bag of passies. I need to get a bin to put these in now since I'm collecting these kind of pacifiers. I need something to keep them in. So we're going to get her a pacifier. This one looks like the color. Now, usually when I put these on Layla, Layla they are so huge on her face, certain ones. But I'll still let her wear them even though they're kind of big. And then I have 
see this one is the itsy ritzy brand they're on amazon um usually they come two in a pack you get two different colors i don't know what that came with it probably came with this other peach one this one is lighter so really she could wear either one of those peach ones and then i have the smaller ones i think these are called gomes g-o-m-e-s and these come four in a pack so these are kind of like the color she is wearing also like i probably would do this one these fit her better because the, it's way smaller um and like i said these come the small ones come four in a pack and if you have a baby with a smaller mouth if you guys can see that you see i don't even have to squeeze this because it's liquid it just like came right out just a little bit take it and rub it around on there you don't even need a lot of it see a lot of it is on my finger then i usually have me a tissue and just clean it off and that way the less you're kind of putting in the baby's mouth because they don't need that much see these that one fits her because it's a little bit just a little bit smaller then I'm going to try one of these so you guys can see. Oh, gosh, I love that lip. When you take the passy out, the way her lip is, it just looks so real, the coloring and everything. And then that's how these look. Either of them, they pretty much look the same. All of them kind of cover her little nose because she has a little face, um, little newborn face. So all of these round passies are kind of big on her, but I still like them. So she could wear that one. I think I'll do one of those instead of the small one. And I didn't even need any more lubricant. It was enough in her mouth already, just from that little bit. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing Layla this evening. And we will check back in with you soon with another video. Maybe I'll bring on Jone next because she hasn't had a video in a little while. And Jone is my new baby. If you guys don't know Jone, um, check out her video. She came home about three weeks ago, and she is the Zen sculpt by Claire Taylor Dolls. Um, I probably will come on with her next and change her or something. Also, subscribe. I should have said that at the beginning. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and click the bell for notifications of future videos. Um, also, follow us on Instagram because I will put pictures on Instagram even when I don't do a video here. A lot of times I will find time to change a baby or more multiple babies, and then I will just pop up their pictures on my Instagram. My Instagram is, the link is right under the videos, all of my videos in the description. You'll see the link, you just click it, and it takes you right over to my Instagram. And so that is all for now, guys. So me and Layla would like to say thanks for watching. Stay safe, be well, and we will see you in the next video. I'm going to just bring you around so you guys can see her. There she is, my girl. And she also has a video up of her coming to life did you guys see that it, i put it up a couple of days ago it's like two videos before this one go to my um home page and you'll see little layla come to life and i love that video i keep looking at it because she really does look so alive her eyes and everything and so I just keep looking at that video because this baby to me looks so realistic anyway. And like I said, she's created from a real baby. Um, the the, the uh, resemblance of the real baby, she really looks like him. And then that video of her, the movement and her eyes blinking and moving and everything. I just keep looking at it because you know how we have these dolls and you wonder sometimes what they would look like if they were a living baby. So that's what I love about the video. It kind of gives me that idea of what she would, you know, be like if she were actually a living baby. But anyway, that is like two videos before this one. I might put it at the end of this video so you can click it if you didn't see it. And you can just click the video and go and see that. But anyway, okay. Thanks for watching, guys.